Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Health Forensics and we're here to review this experiment. Now this experiment involved growing Diefenbachias with wristwatches and all of these Diefenbachias are grown in a biologically harmful radio wave field and the idea of the wristwatches was to see if it would have any effect on the growth patterns. And as you can see, it certainly did. So we're going to start with the worst growth and the worst growth is dead. So this one had a digital watch in its roots and it was started in March, 2014. It's now January, 2016. So we got a dead plant from that exposure. Now that digital watch looks like this. So it's a resin strapped digital watch and it's not the analog that I'm wearing. So that was what was in there and it killed the plant. So this was a combination watch. So this is a digital analog watch in the roots. So it has the analog watch face like this one, but it also had a digital display embedded into the display and it had a metal strap. I used to wear that watch. And this is what it did to the Diefenbachia. So got these very, very small leaves. The Diefenbachia typically has leaves the size of your hand. So very retarded leaves and shiny. So that's a radio frequency exposure right there. So it's a very deformed Diefenbachia. So this one here, has the watch hanging on its upper stem structure. So it's very, very similar to the watch that I wear. And it's grown quite tall for Typhon Bacchus that I grow in my home. And it just recently lost many of its leaves. It was growing much better up until about a month or two ago. So we're going to have to watch this one for a while and see whether it starts putting up new leaves. But that's where we're up to with that one. So it was doing quite well wearing the analog watch. And it's a Casio MW600 analog watch. And you see that the first one actually died in December 2013 and it was replaced in June 2014. So we have better success with the second plant. But this one is by far the best plant that I've been able to grow with a wristwatch. So we put the wristwatch in the roots. So it's down there embedded in the soil. And we got this giant Diefenbachia plant. And we take a little look at the leaves. We can see it's got the best leaves. So it's a miniature Diefenbachia leaf and it has the patterning in it. You can see that down here. So the exposure to the roots from an analog watch was by far the best exposure to the Diefenbachia in a radio wave field. And it did appear to offset a lot of effects of the radio frequency exposure. And it did actually enable the plant to grow very well in that biologically harmful radio wave field. And it was the observations of this plant that prompted me to start wearing a Casio MW600 watch as well. And the closest place on the human that is considered to be roots is either the, the palm of the hand or the sole of the foot. So it's as close as I can get it to the human roots. If you want to find out more on this subject, you'll find it in Health Forensics. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.